any chance? Such a bright sunny day. Let us do something new today. In the last chapter, we learned about trigonometry and the different trigonometrical ratios. Today, we are going to explore the urban territory a little and see if we can apply trigonometry in our everyday lives. Let's go. Tall buildings have always fascinated me. Let's take a closer look. When we look at tall buildings like these, our brain generally wants to find out the number of floors and the height of the buildings, right? We can easily do that using the knowledge we already gained in the last chapter. Just that we'll need to get clarity on a few concepts. I'd like to start with directions, horizontal and vertical. Suppose I'm looking in front or to my back or to my right or left, I'm looking in a horizontal direction. And if I'm looking upwards towards the sky or downwards at my feet, I'm looking in a vertical direction. When I'm looking straight, I'm looking in a horizontal direction. So, my line of sight is the horizontal line. Similarly, when I'm looking upwards or downwards, my line of sight is the vertical line. But, when my line of sight is tilted upwards like this, it makes an angle with the horizontal line. And this angle is called the angle of elevation. The line of sight is upwards and elevated, and hence the name angle of elevation. Similarly, when my line of sight is downwards like this, it makes an angle with the horizontal. This angle is called the angle of depression. The line of sight is downwards and depressed and hence the name angle of depression. So basically, the angle of elevation is the angle which the line of sight makes with the horizontal line when I'm looking at something at a higher level. And the angle of depression is the angle which the line of sight makes with the horizontal line when I'm looking at something at a lower level. Now that you have learned the key concepts, let us explore a little more and find something tall to calculate its height. Voila! The flagmast. Let's find out what the height of the flagmast is. Right now, I'm standing at a distance of 20 feet from the flagmast and my line of sight makes an angle of elevation of 45 degrees. So, we have a right angle triangle formed here. Let us name this triangle as ABC where A is the top of the flag, B is the bottom of the flag, and C is the point where I am standing. So, now we have angle B is equal to 90 degrees, angle C is equal to 45 degrees, and BC, which is the distance of the pole from me, is equal to 20 feet. Therefore, tan C is equal to AB by BC, which is equal to AB by 20. But, angle C is equal to 45 degrees, and tan 45 degrees is equal to 1 then AB by 20 is equal to 1 or AB is equal to 1 into 20 that is 20 feet. So, we got the height of the flag above my head but the total height is the height above my head plus my height. Now, my height is 5, 8 feet. So, the total height becomes 20 plus 5, 8 which is equal to 25, 8 feet. See, that was so easy, right? Let us now look at some complex problems. The shadow of a tower standing on a level ground appears to be 40 meters longer when the sun's altitude is 30 degrees than when it is 60 degrees. Find the height of the tower. Suppose that AB is the tower and BC is the length of the shadow when the sun's altitude is 60 degrees. That is, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the tip of the shadow is 60 degrees and db is the length of the shadow when the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Let ab be h meters and bc be x meters. According to the question, db is 40 meters longer than bc as evident from the diagram. So, db is equal to 40 plus x meters. Now, we have two right triangles, abc and abd. In right triangle abc, tan 60 is equal to ab by bc or root 3 is equal to h by x or h is equal to x root 3. In right triangle ABD, tan 30 is equal to AB by BD or 1 by root 3 is equal to h by x plus 40. Putting the value of h, we get 1 by root 3 is equal to x root 3 divided by x plus 40 which means x plus 40 is equal to x root 3 into root 3. 
that is x plus 40 is equal to 3x. So 2x is equal to 40 or x is equal to 40 by 2 that is 20. Then h is equal to 20 root 3. So the height of the tower is 20 root 3 meters. Let us look at one more problem. A man standing at the deck of a ship which is 10 meters above the water level observes the angle of elevation of the top of a hill to be 60 degrees and the angle of depression of the base of a hill to be 30 degrees. Calculate the distance of the hill from the ship as well as the height of the hill. The tricky part in these questions is the figure. Once the figure is correctly formed, the rest of the problem becomes very easy. So let us work on that here. Let AB be the deck and CD be the hill. Let the man be standing at point B. Then AB is equal to 10 meters. Let BE be perpendicular to CD and AC be perpendicular to CD. Then angle of elevation EBD is equal to 60 degrees and angle of depression EBC is equal to 30 degrees. Therefore angle ACB is equal to angle EBC is equal to 30 degrees. We have CD is equal to H meters. Then CE is equal to AB is equal to 10 meters. So ED is equal to H minus 10 meters. From right triangle CAB, we have cot 30 degrees is equal to AC by AB or root 3 is equal to AC by 10. Then AC is equal to 10 root 3 meters. So BE which is equal to AC is equal to 10 root 3 meters. In right triangle BED, we have tan 60 degree is equal to DE by BE or root 3 is equal to H minus 10 divided by 10 root 3. So 10 root 3 into root 3 is equal to H minus 10. Then 30 is equal to H minus 10. So H is equal to 30 plus 10 which is equal to 40 meters. Then the distance of the hill from the ship is 10 root 3 meters and the height of the hill is 40 meters. Let us quickly go through what all we covered today. When I am looking straight, I am looking in a horizontal direction. So my line of sight is the horizontal line. Similarly, when I am looking upwards or downwards, my line of sight is the vertical line. The angle of elevation is the angle which the line of sight makes with the horizontal line when I am looking at something at a higher level. And the angle of depression is the angle which the line of sight makes with the horizontal line when I am looking at something at a lower level. Having covered all of these topics, now it's your turn to pull up your sleeves and try one for yourself. Get your pen and papers ready. You only have 5 minutes and your question appears in 3, 2, 1, go.